my memory of the original was Walter Matthau, laconic New York cop, brilliant sense of humor, uh, pants at half mast. And I thought, what a dumb place to hold hostages subway because it's a cul-de-sac, you yeah? know? And it was just a hip location. And our movie is about, maybe we should change the title. Our movie is about revenge and humiliation. Everything in Travolta's character comes from research. I found a guy who just got out of jail after 12 years. He was working for the city of New York um, during the parking violation scandal. He said, the city took away my life. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna humiliate them and take them down like they took me down. This is the man who's gonna rock the city. This is the man who's gonna give the city a run for the money. Now look up, look up at your screen. You tell me what you see. Denzel does enormous amounts of homework. My first movie is with him and Gene Hackman. They're two of the same, they come out the same mold. They do all their homework and they sit here and they give everything. They're very, both very complex individuals and they can do nothing and give it all. That comes out to 10 million plus one cent. Oh, that is a deal. Now you call the mayor and you tell him the price. And then you tell him I wanted 100,000 $100 bills. You got that? I got it. What about the one cent? Well, you keep that one cent. It's your broker fee. There's two guys on the phone for 80% of the movie. How the f am I going to actually <laughs> hold and maintain that tension, you know? Um, but you hold it in terms of how you cast it. You hold it in terms of the words. And then, and emotionally, I just, I use my camera to support whatever those guys are doing. They, they got hostages, lots of them, and, and, uh, and they got machine guns. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You check me. You understand that? I check. I understand. I was very proud of the fact that I did manage to have, create such tension through the course of those 90 minutes, 100 minutes because um, it never lets you off the hook, does it? It's uh, f pretty good fun when it's dealing with the, the, the confrontation between the, the two main adversaries in the film. However, uh, this being a Tony Scott film, there have to be car crashes and explosions and uh, runaway trains and what have you. Uh, and when the film eventually sort of moves above ground, it becomes more generic, less interesting, and actually kind of slightly disappointing given that um, the first star was actually um, jolly good.